What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about the difference between service history, which is under customer information. Every time you select a customer, it's going to be up top, up here, and versus archived invoices. They're completely different. And let me start with the service history. Uh, the service history, the quick link right here, is very convenient for one reason. When a customer when a customer comes to your shop and says and he brings let's say the 2010 Chevy Malibu, it's really important for us to be able to look at the service history for that vehicle only. Uh, and it's assuming he has four vehicles, whatever the case is. Uh, I want something really quick. I want to click on service history, and it's going to list all the invoices for that vehicle only, not for his other di different cars. And we just upgraded this feature actually. If you look at the bar, it's gonna tell you the number of visits for that vehicle. And it's gonna tell you the lifetime spent for that vehicle. It's gonna tell you the first time a visit for that vehicle. It's gonna tell you the last time, the date, and the amount was, was spent for that vehicle, which is really inconvenient. I really don't wanna see if I'm, if the customer brought the 2010 Chevy Malibu and he has a he has a tourist, I don't care for the tourist service history at this moment. All I care about is the service history for the Malibu. And if I click on one of any of these invoices, not just one, I can go through the invoices really quick from here as fast as possible to make sure if there are any jobs are done. Um, there's one thing that we could do, which is we will do, is the ability to search inside the invoice, uh, which is we don't have that feature yet, but we'll definitely, I'm looking into that. But I like that a lot right now. If I click on service history, I'm going to see how much uh, that customer spent, the lifetime spent on that vehicle, not all his vehicle, on that vehicle. And this is very convenient. So let's say Mark has a... Let's select a different car for Mark. And, and let's say I want to look up the G6. And if I click on that service history for the G6, I'm going to see all the service history, number of visits of that G6, 47 times, the lifetime spent, 32,000. The first time that vehicle came to my shop, 1,000, last visit with the date, so it's really convenient for that vehicle. If I wanna, which is that's not gonna happen all the time, but if I wanna search uh, that, that, that customer, I want all his vehicle, we can do that. We can go to archived invoices. And when I click on archived invoices, which is the, the search right top, if you, if you put the mouse on top of the magnifier, you're gonna see it says archived invoices. And let's say I'm searching for Mark and then I can find the customer. Then in this right here, it's gonna list all the vehicles and basically all the invoices for that customer, not just one vehicle, all of them. And it's gonna organize them by date. So if you look at date five, three, all the way. And if you look at the bottom, it's gonna tell you the number of visits for that customer, for all the vehicle, not just one vehicle and the lifetime spent, so how much that customer has spent at the art shop, 139000 The first visit, when was that? I mean, in this case, the, the first visit, I think, doesn't have a date, that's why, but you should tell you the date, when the first time the customer was there. The last visit, when the last time the customer was here and how much he spent. So this is for all the customers. And inside here, I can search just, let's say I want, I, I don't care for the Jeep, I just want to look up for the Malibu only. So I can click on the Malibu and I, I, can, I can open the Malibu and I can go through all the invoices for the Malibu. No problem, I can go back, it's like, okay, I don't want just the Malibu, I need the Grand Cherokee. Um, let's say the Cherokee. And then I can open it to Grand Cherokee and I can go through all the invoices for the Grand Cherokee. So this is really convenient. The only time you need to be uh, on the under archived invoices if you're looking for something specific, uh, not for something generic, for something specific. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna be a lot simpler uh, to come in here and say, you know what, just show me the service history for the G6. I can see everything for the G6, uh, the last visit, the first visit for the G6, uh, the, the amount of uh, money has been spent on the G6, how many times it was on my shop, and I can go through all, uh, through all the G6 invoices. I don't think any 
there is no way that any shop management system can go through the invoices like this super fast. There is no way. Um, the way we design it is we kind of open the invoice for you and we go through the data uh, super quickly. So you can search if you did the brakes or radiator or see if you did the radiator, you can search it really quick and see, oh, did I do the radiator? It's right there. I see I did the radiator. So which is really convenient. But I like those feature, added features right now where it says number of visits, uh, lifetime spend, the first time the vehicle was serviced here, how much he spent on that date, uh, the last time the vehicle was serviced here, and how much he spent on that date, which is pretty, really cool. Anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks for watching.